joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. The forecast calls for below freezing temperatures for tonight's battle between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here comes the Fighting Irish. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Notre Dame knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I hate to agree with you, Kirk. I'm picking Fighting Irish. Well, this game just wouldn't be the same without you, Coach. Now let's go down to the Coca-Cola coin toss. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opener kickoff. Decent kick. Number 11 from his own end zone. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. As a coach, you've got to do some different things to keep that defense guessing out there. Guys, I got to tell you, I really like this kid lined up at quarterback. I think he's going to have a pretty good game today. Yeah, he is a pretty impressive player. He has good mechanics, strong arm, good vision, and he's a great leader. This defense is going to have a tough time stopping stop him today. One Not so fast, ball, my friend. Ball, ball. This defensive line is going to be coming at him all game. Although if the offensive line can hold off the rush, if his receivers can get open, and if this kid stays focused in the pocket, then they'll do pretty well today. <laughs> That's a lot of ifs. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Setting up play action. Number 10 swings it left. And he's taken down. He got it to the receiver in a hurry. That ball was out of line. The defense could not be down because they couldn't see it. It was a laser beam. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. It's first and ten. First and ball ten. on the 45. Ball on the 45 yard line. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. There's a play fake. Rifles it over the middle. Brought down at the 41. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. I would try and establish a good running game with this play. First, First and 10. ten. Ball on the 41. 41 yard line. Two tight end set. Here's the option. Lateral back. Gets past the tackler. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question. And they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except for the ball. Lee, you're right. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. First, First down, down, 10 yards Ball to go. on the 30-yard line. The Irish come out in the ace formation. Look, throws down the middle. And he's all the way down to the three-yard line. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week, guys. Yeah, we get a chance to see it again here. Wow, what a throw. In this situation, I challenge my offensive line to get enough of a push to get us a touchdown. First it's first down. Ball on the yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. They hand it off. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Well executed play there. Good blocking by the big guys, and the running back takes it right in. You find a way to finish it off, and that's exactly what they did. And they're lining up for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. With about three minutes of play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, Notre Dame, seven, Oklahoma, nothing.
Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Number 23 takes from the 10. So now we're getting to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. They'll get the ball here at the 27 yard line. First and 10. Number 28 is the single setback. Let's it fly. And it's the senior. He's tackled in the open field. Good yardage that time on the pick. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. First, First ten. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. The Sooners go with the eye formation. Into the tailback. And he's tackled at the 46 the yard line. Nine yard pickup. Nine yard gain on the play. Second it's second one. down. Ball on the 46-yard line. Oklahoma sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they fake it. It's intercepted. The linebacker comes down with the INT. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. Even for a receiver, that would have been a tough catch to make. As a coach, I'm trying to show the defense just enough for them to fight on a similar play later on. It's like a chess match out there. Right. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Yeah. Number three lines up as a single back. They go with a toss. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Yep, the defense was blitzing on that play, but it was picked up very nicely by that big old line. And that certainly helped spring him free, coach. They have to be careful not to over-pursue next time. Second the 45-yard line. On the Second down. Eight backfield. Tosses it out. Tackle made at the 41. A few yards there and a first down on the halfback toss. Just take it to the back and send this one to the air, sweetheart. Uh-huh. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The Fighting Irish line up with two tight ends. On play action. He flings it over the middle. That's incomplete. Number 87 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. They line up at the 41. So it's second and 10. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. He's hit and got away. He spins. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. When you've got a bunch of yards to gain, your players might be a little excited. I'd calm them down right here. Third From the 40-yard line. Ball on the third-yard line. And a third and long watch out. This quarterback's looking to keep the drive alive. Complete. What a catch. It's on the ground. And they fall on the loose ball. And so they turn the ball over. Well, the tight end didn't even see the hit coming. And the defender made a good play. He was looking to make something happen there. And boy, did he ever. This drive will start at the 29 yard line. First and 10. The Sooners line up with a single set backfield. Back to pass. He's looking. Off balance throw. And it's the tight end. He's tackled. And we're going to be on the board. Does this kid have an arm? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. First We've got 10. a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number 28 is the single setback. Surveys the field. Complete. 
The quarterback has rifled that one in there for a good game. Well, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. First, first, and it's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They hit it off. And he's taken down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. They line up at the 24. Second and three. Oklahoma comes out with an eye formation. They go with the option. And now he pitches it. He's hit and got away. They move the sticks after another first down. I'm impressive trying by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First, first and ten. They're in the red zone. Oklahoma sets up in the eye. Again with a carry. Tackle made at the ten. Number 28 gains about five yards in the row. That'll make it second down. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. Oklahoma comes out with an eye for me. Handoff up the middle, and they make the stop. And the picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. First, first and goal, and a touchdown ties it, folks. They set up in an eye down by the goal line. Watch for play action on this one. Boy, it looked like the defense knew exactly what play was called. Great instinct there on that run play. After a quarter of play, our score is Notre Dame, seven, Oklahoma, nothing. They line up at the eight. That brings up second and goal. Number 28 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He lets it fly, and it falls incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. That'll bring up third down. Third for the offense is just eight yards away from the end zone, but it's third and goal. Play action. He looks. He's rolling right, looks to the end zone, makes a catch in the end zone, touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. We'll be tied with the extra point. right it's a fake they don't get it just a minute folks there's a penalty on that play See, call by the coach here as they're looking to go in front with this two-point attempt. Rather than tie it up, it looks like they want to risk it and go for the lead. Goes to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Sends it downfield. Number 11 takes it at the 14. The last Pickle time they had the ball, they gave yards. away on the fumble. Number 11, the ball coach ball was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. I like this one. Go see what you can do with it. 
Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Irish are lining up with three receivers. They snap it to the back. He jukes it. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. I put the ball in my quarterback's hands and see if he can make something good happen. First, it's first and ten. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. Nice play fake. Number 10 passes brought down at the 31. Someone wanted a little head start there. I'd mix it up a little here. You don't want to be too predictable out there. First, First down, down, 10 yards ball to go. On the 30, ball on the 31 yard line. The Irish come out of the ace formation. There's a the play fake. He gets sacked on the play. Two makes the sack. Nine yard loss on the play. It's a big down right here. You've got to throw in this situation. Second and long. Ball on the 40 yard line. 40 yard line. The Fighting Irish set up in the gun. He rolls out to the right. Deep pass down the right side. Got it. He's all the way down to the eight. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. When you drop back to pass and see zone, it's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. Notre Dame is trying to make this a two-score game. They line up in a double tight set. Option left side. Now he pitches it. And he takes a big hit at the nine yard line. And the halfback took the pitch, but couldn't find any running lane. There were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. They would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They call it the red zone when you're inside the opponent's 20 yard line. Second it's second and goal. goal. They line up at the nine. Some room. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. That handoff for the fullback took the defense by surprise, and he rumbled all the way in. Yeah, they didn't even know he's such a big play threat. Just add the point after touchdown. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. He splits the uprights for the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Notre Dame, 14, Oklahoma, 6. Notre Dame, ready to kick this one off. Number three and number 23, set to return. Kicks off. Number 23, fields it at the one. What to look for in this drive to see how often the defense changes up its coverage. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. The Sooner come out of the ace formation. Play action. And it's incomplete. Man, I thought he was going to catch that one. He had it in his hands for a second. Yep. And in that same second, the defender smashed into him, knocking the ball loose. Great defense. Sure was, Coach. Great. Second, second down. down. Number 28 lines up at the single back. Play action. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete. Great effort here by the wideout. But you know what? The quarterback was off just enough to cause the incompletion. They line up at the 23. We've got third and 10. Oklahoma comes to the line with three wide. He zips it out to the left. 
Finds his receiver. Good completion there, but they still didn't get the yards they needed for the first down. Yeah, it's tough to get the yardage you're looking for on those third and long situations. Everyone knows the pass is coming. So the defense just sits back and one. waits to make all the third and two yards. One down, and they're going to try to go for it. Oklahoma sets up in the eye. Here comes the pressure. Number seven loses the handle. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. What a play. The linebacker comes up with a fumble. That was a nice play. Couldn't have done better myself, you guys. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. The, the offense will take over. Start the at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Drops back on first down. He's going right. That's incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. That'll bring up second down. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. Right. They second line up 10. at the 23. It's second and 10. Yeah. Single set back for you. He's looking to pass. Looks. Slims it right. And it falls incomplete. Hello, sweetheart. Now that's how to break up a pass. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch that one. Third from the 23-yard line. Ball on the 23-yard line. Yeah. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Rolls to the left. He fires. Got his man on the run. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. The Irish go with the I formation. Pitch out. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Six. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past the big line. But you got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. Second eight goal. yards from the end zone. Oh, the eight yard line. They come out with a big set. They go with the option. Pitches back. Touchdown, Irish. An impressive run as he finds the end zone. Yeah, he's got skills. I wouldn't want to be a defender in the open field with him coming in. He's... Oh, come on, Scooter, you take him down. Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. Here's the try for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive center. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kick, you didn't get a hold of that one. Number 23 takes from the 10. Well, guys, their last drive ended on a fumbled ball. What do you think they can do to be more successful this time? Well, for one, they can hold on to the football. Turnovers absolutely kill the team's momentum. Yeah, I just think they have to be a little bit more careful with the ball. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. The Sooner come out showing three wide. He passes it. Got it. He goes down. He threw a bullet in there. Oh, he sure did. We've already talked about his arm strength, but what really impresses me are his mechanics. His passing motion is so fluid. First, first down. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number 28, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Down the middle. And this one falls incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Right. They line up at the 43. Oh, 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 so it's second and 10. 
The Sooners go with the I formation. He tackles him for a loss. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Play action. They'll make the sack. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. They come out with three wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go. Got it. Down the sideline. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's caught him very well. So they're ready for the extra point. PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Notre Dame 21, Oklahoma 13. Number 10, ready to kick. Kicks this one on the ground. It's pretty short. Number 11 fields it at the 11. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Wants to throw outside, and it's the senior. And they make the stop at the 43. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Yo, how about this one? First and 10, ball on the 43. The Sooners line up with six defensive backs. Number 10, slings it left. Oh, great catch. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get over between the zone coverage. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number three is the single setback. He looks. Batted ball. Intercepted. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. As we just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. The open will set up shot at the 29-yard line. At the 29-yard line. First and 10. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. First down, look at the throw. Zips it over the middle, and he brings it down. And he's all the way down to the 46-yard line. Oklahoma will have one timeout remaining. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. They'll throw on first down. Looking, he flings it. Hits his man in stride. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. Oklahoma will take their final timeout. First and 10. Field goal units out on the field. They're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and he's got it. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Notre Dame 21, Oklahoma 16.
Oh, we no, are set to start for the second half. Both teams are on the field and we're ready to go. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 23 takes it to 15. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start at the 33. The Sooners come out showing three wide. Setting up the play action. Surveys the field. Rolling out to the left side. This one's thrown deep over the middle. And he's got it! Touchdown, Oklahoma! And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double-team him. come out with four linebackers. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. And the defense holds. Oklahoma Number 10 is lined up to kick this one off. Number 11 back to return. He sends it downfield. Number 11 signals for a fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. They'll, They'll take over at the 28-yard line. First, First and 10. 10. The Irish line up with a single setback to you. Number 10 throws. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Kirk, what is that? He just dropped it, Coach, plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Abominable? Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> Second, Second and ten. ten. Ball on the 28. 28-yard line. Yeah. Going with the shotgun here. He's looking to pass. Number ten. Zips it. The ball is tipped. Number one was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. Yo. That's a bunch of yards to go. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. Third, Third they're down at 10 coming up. Ball, Ball on their own 28-yard line. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Looks. Number 10. Unloads. Got it, Ball. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. You better bring out your punt team. Fourth and ten. Here comes the punter Ball looking to boot this one away. Number 11, the return man. Number 11, back deep to return. Number 11, field this for 37. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they? They'll take, take over, over at the 35-yard line. First, First and 10. 10. The Sooners go with the eye formation. Play action. Down the middle. He snags it. Brought down at the 25. A good 10 yards on the pickup. 10 on the play. They line up at the 45. Second down and a couple feet. The Sooners line up in an I formation. Back to pass. Looking. He gets sacked on the play. It's 
third down. The Sooner set up in the gun. There's a play fake. He delivers. He catches another. And he's all the way down to the 38. It's a 300 yard passing on the day for this quarterback, Kirk. He's been successful picking up this defense all day long. Yeah, coach, he's really tearing up this secondary. First, First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Yard line. Yeah. Oklahoma comes to the line with three wide. Looks. He's going to go for the home run. Got it. And he's tackled at the six. Whoa. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Number seven with four wide receivers. Looking. Fires. And he picks it off in the end zone. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnover. You've got to watch out for that defense. You know they'll be coming after you here. And they've got a lot of field in front of them as they start this drive. They don't want to make any mistakes in this situation. Inside handoff. Number three gains about five yards on the run. Five yard gain on the one. I'll tell you what. Nothing, nothing is better than dominating the line of scrimmage and running right at that defense. Second, Second and five. Second and five. Yeah. Number 10, back in the gun. Great yeah. snap to the back. He's tackled at the 13-yard line. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. In this situation, you've got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. First and ten. Ball on their own 13. Fakes to the back. Under heavy pressure. Number 99 is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Some coaches want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. What I do is throw it right here. you got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down run. They come out with three wide receivers. Here comes the pressure over the middle. Caught a one-hander. That was a laser. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. It's third down, and you've got to convert. Just give the ball to your goal. They line up at the 19. It's third down and four to go. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Pitch out. Makes a move. And he's taken down. And the 20. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Yo, don't give up any field position. Punt it away. Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 11 is back deep to return the punt. Number, Number 17 punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Number 11 fields it at the 35. He couldn't make anything happen on that punt return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. They'll, They'll get the ball the here at the 35-yard line. Yard line. First, First and 10. ten. Single set back to you. Number 7 rifles it right. Finds his receiver. Number 12 is one of the best catches we've seen all day, guys. Great concentration to go. Oklahoma comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. On the delay. There was about 10 things that went wrong for him that time, Coach. Yep, 
And about the only thing they didn't do wrong was turn the ball over. They line up at the 44. We've got a second and long. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Comes across the middle. Batted ball. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Third their own 44-yard line. It's third down. Oklahoma comes out of the shotgun on play action. Number seven, unload. Into traffic, and it's picked off. Number and credit the safety with that last seven. interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was They'll ready for today's game. 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. He's looking down the middle. Complete. What a catch. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure has a load to bring down. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. One man backfield. He looks to throw on first down. Down the middle. He catches another one. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. It's a direct snap. Tackle made at the 11 yard line. That's a nice six yard game. And six on the block. When you're inside your opponent's 20, you can play it safe or you can go for it all. I let my quarterback throw for a touchdown here. From the 11 yard line. 11 yard line. He drops back. He rolls left. End zone. And that one's incomplete. Not a good effort there in the end zone. In order to make this third down, you've got to be conscious of that first down line. Third, third, down, third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Rolls to the right, throws it out there. He came down with it. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. We saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Hey, what good is one point going to do you here? You need two, my friend. They'll go for two in this situation. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. And they got it. Number 10 on the line. Huge balls on the run. Notre Dame gets set to kick this one away. Number three and number 23 back ready to return. He kicks off. Number 23 takes it at the four. He lateral. Number 23 loses the handle. Number 23 scoops up the fumble. And a costly fumble. The ball carry had only one hand on the ball, and the helmet right there causes the fumble. The big picture is to come away with some points. Now, if you can get a touchdown on this run, then that'll take care of the big picture right here. Notre Dame will line up in a jumbo set here. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. All you need is one. Send out the kick team. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. Yeah. 
He splits the uprights for the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter, and our score, Notre Dame 34, Oklahoma 22. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. Number 23 takes from the 10. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. The Sooners line up in an eye formation. They'll run the option. He laterals the ball. Number seven. So they almost lost possession there on the option. They're just happy they recovered it. A turnover would have been very costly. Second, Second and low. Ball on their own 20. Throwing in a hurry. They'll sack him at the 14 yard line. Third down. They come out with three wide receivers. Fakes to the back. Falling back as he throws. And it falls incomplete. Three plays and no first down, and now it's decision time for this offense. Well, the defense did what they had to do so far. They're showing a lot of heart out there. So they're going to go for it here. Oklahoma lines up with three receivers. Throws this one out to the right. And he brings it down. And he puts it on the turn. And the defense is on it. What happened there, Coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like it should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. you got to play the game with a passion. I love the kids that love the game of football. Excellent field position to start the drive. One man back to you. There's the play fake. Over the middle. Complete. What a catch. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what, that ball looks like a missile with laces. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone, where performance matters most. Number 10 on the run. Three-yard game on the play. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not Second turning the ball over here ball because that means you're taking ball. points off the board. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Gives it up the gut. He's tackled at the two-yard line. Number three gets seven yards on the play. It'll make it third down. Third down and short. Ball on the two. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Running back. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. And they get it up on the ground for the first. Whatever you do, let your quarterback look to the end zone on this play. Notre Dame trying to go up by three scores. They put everyone up on the line. Loose football. And they fall on the loose ball. That might turn out to be a big, big turnover. Excellent job by this defense to get in there and force the fumble. That couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, because they needed two scores, and they needed them quickly. Let's see how they respond with the football. They have the whole field to work with as they start this drive inside their own five-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Play action. Throws off his back foot. His receiver has it. Kirk, what can you say about this quarterback? Anytime you pass for 400 yards in a game, you're making good reads and delivering the ball where it's got to be. He's having a solid game out there. First, we've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. 
Oklahoma. He throws it. It's tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Second, Second down and 10, and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Yard line. Yeah. Oklahoma comes out with an eye formation. A nice play fake. Throws it to the outside. The 50. And he's all the way down to the 37-yard line. Well, don't go away yet, folks. That was just a great pass and catch, and what perfect timing to get something going. I think this defense got a little First bit soft ten. with the two-possession lead. They're better pick it up, right, right. because this game is a long way from being over. Setting up play action. Number seven, Simpson. They connect again. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And Coach, you can tell the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. Three wideouts here. Steps up in the pocket. Fires! Touchdown, Sooners! And this guy is turning in one monster performance. No doubt about it, that's his third touchdown of the day. Kirk, how's he getting so wide open? It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Notre Dame, 34, Oklahoma, 29. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks off. Number 11 takes it at the eight. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. As a coach, you've got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. The Irish come out in the ace formation, looking. He rifles it. Oh, great. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. The Fighting Irish line up with two tight ends. He throws it, and he brings it down. They'll bring him down at the 34. What do you think of this quarterback, Lee? Well, he's got over 300 yards passing now, and what I like about him is his quick release. One, two, three. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. So I try to establish the run here. First down. First and 10. Yeah. Oklahoma lines up in a dime defense here. Look, he wants it all going long. He's got it. Touchdown. That could be the ball game, folks. Not so fast, my friend. They're in a lot of trouble. They need two scores and lead them fast. But I see crazier things happen in college football. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh -uh. No way. So they're ready for the extra point. He splits the uprights for the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 18 looks ready to kick this one off. D.C. 
Johnson kicks. Number 23 takes it from the six. Ball's loose, and they fall on the loose ball. about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. Number seven, zips it. That's incomplete. Number 19 was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Great. Second, second down. down. Ball of the 21 yard line. Here's the option. Let's it fly. Number 28 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it third down. Third We've got third and ten. ten. All on their own 21. They come out with four linebackers. Steps up. Let's it go. Caught at the 40. Down the sideline. To the 10, and he will score. They did exactly what they had to do there, Kirk. They put six points on the board, and now they have the lead. Yeah, but with just under two minutes still left on the clock, there's a lot of time for momentum to swing in the other direction, Coach. This is still anyone's ballgame. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Oklahoma sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they fake it. Surveys the field. Fires. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Notre Dame 41, Oklahoma 37. Oklahoma to kick this one off. Number 11 and number one back deep to return. It's a line drive kick. Number 11 passes at the five. You gotta try the onside in that situation, right, guys? Absolutely. You're down and you've got to score and score quickly. Yeah, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Let's see how well you can run this play. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Two tight end set. Looks to pass. Throws to the middle. Oh, great. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. You ask, so I'm telling you, love this play. There you have it, folks, your Coca-Cola players of the game. They really earned it out there today. Notre Dame comes out with two tight ends. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. So that stops the clock, guys. What can I say? That was just a bonehead coaching decision. Yeah, they need to be running the clock, not stopping it. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between right, the tackles and, and kill ball some time off that clock. Yard line. They line up at the 41. So it's second and 10. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Number 10 passes incomplete. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play third and make the first down. Ball ball it's third and ten. Yard. Ball on their own 41. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. He's looking. Throws. His receiver has it. And the defense is on it. 
What a crucial, crucial turnover there. That fumble could end up being the deciding factor in this game. I'd say. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Second, Second down and 10 to go. All of the 41-yard line. They line up in an eye. Bakes to the back. He unloads it. It falls incomplete. The quarterback saw the blitz and just got rid of the ball. From their own 41 yard line, it's third and 10. Oklahoma lines up with three receivers. He lets it go. That's Number not what you want to do when you're losing this late in the game. Nope. At this late in the fourth quarter, my friends, that was probably their last chance. I like this one. Go see what you can do with it. The They'll start this fighting Irish the over at the 41-yard line. First and 10. The fighting Irish line up in an I formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Oh, great catch. And with that last pass, he just went over the 400-yard mark. He's done a very nice job today of getting the ball to the open receiver. And he's been able to do that because of good pocket protection. The guys up front have given him enough time to make the throw. You know what? This is a good position to be in. You got the lead. You got the ball. And all you got to do is run the clock out. Congratulations. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. It's just right. And they'll get him in the backfield. The Sooners are going to take a timeout. And that was their first timeout. In this situation, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football and just stay in bounds. From the 41-yard line, second down, 14 coming up here. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Play action. Across the middle, they connect again. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receivers some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. Just take a knee so you can win and go home. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Diving for extra yards. Three, Oklahoma will take their second time out of the half. Second, second down and 10 to go. On the 17 yard line. The Ivory come out the shotgun. The running back has it. Dives forward. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The Sooners call for a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. Well, it's not fourth down, but for some reason, the punter's on the field. Number 17 is waiting for the snap. And that's the end of the ball game. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Notre Dame really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you this game. Again, our final score, Notre Dame 41, Oklahoma 37. This is Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. We thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for attending today's performance.